Hey guys, hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be doing some more AFK Journey content and we're going to be checking out the boss challenge game mode today, the one of the main ones you're going to be doing. Pretty much every single day, it's going to be very, very useful for different rewards. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to channels if new. I'm going to be playing a ton more of this game on the channel, so please really do consider subscribing if you enjoy the game. Anyways, let's jump straight into things. Okay, so we're in AFK O Journey right now. This is one of the just like the towns in the open world. I just wanted to really quickly showcase this before we started the video, because honestly, some of these areas are freaking beautiful. Like, I really, really love the world design they went with in this town. I love a good, like, fantasy kind of world, and I'm super happy with with the one I've uh, seen so far. It's tons of really good environment variety. Variety. Oh my god. Anyways, we're going to be checking out the Dreamwell Realm. Why can I not talk today? My god. Dream Realm. <laughs> Jesus. The Dream Realm is going to be your daily boss challenge. It literally resets every single day. Do not worry. It takes like not even that long at all to complete. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, do keep in mind though, the way this kind of works is you're not intended to be able to complete this right away. Uh, you do have to build up your account over time, but that doesn't mean you don't get rewards. Basically, as you can see down here, there's a reward uh, reward track for different... Oh, why can I not talk right now? What is, going, what is going on? A different reward track for different percentages of health depleted on the boss. So say, for example, if you do 40% of damage to the boss, you're going to get everything below 40% of rewards. If you do 100%, you would get everything there. There's some time and tickets at the end here. There's also a bunch of really, really good resources, but the one we're looking out for are going to be the Dream Fragments. You can spend these in the shops to get duplicates of your epic characters. Sorry, not epic, elite characters, which are the purple ones. Um, anytime if I'm referring to uh, purple characters in this video and I say epic, I mean elite characters. I'm just getting used to the whole naming conventions for this game. Uh, these are really, really important for upgrading your elite characters. Elite characters are very good in this game. Um, and yeah, so basically the way this works is you click the battle button. And you'll be presented with a screen to make a team for dealing with the boss. Um, once the game launches, or maybe closer to the game's launch, I'm going to make guides for the specific bosses and what kind of teams and units you want to be using. I'm not doing that in this video. That's going to be a future thing. Um, but yeah, anyways, basically just set up your team, choose your relic. I, sorry, artifact. I tend to run this one just for the bit of extra sustain because I'm not quite able to stay alive long enough for this one. So this is the difficult challenge. There's also different difficulty levels for these bosses. It's like difficulty one, two, three in this one. And then there's like the endless mode, which is after this. But anyways, let's just jump in. You just kind of let it play out. You can manual this if you want to as well. I don't really bother doing that. And basically, as you can see, it's just depleting the health bar up down at the top. And you just want to deplete as much of the health bar to gain as much rewards as possible uh, to whatever percentage. You get multiple attempts at this per day, and that's really good because what you can do is, say for example, you're at 50,000 like team power. Um, you can go in and challenge at the start of the day, but you can play throughout the day, upgrade your account to say like 70,000 team power, and then you can start again, try it again. So you get multiple attempts you can do throughout the day to essentially try and clear that little bit extra percentage if you can. You want to try and get to 100%, but you might only better do like 5% at a time kind of thing. This will be something you'll just work on your account over time as well. It won't be an immediate thing. So don't expect to be clearing all the way through to endless difficulty on like your first day. It's not going to be happening. <laughs> In fact, I think I was only able to clear like when I first day of playing this, I think it was like up to like 30% and then maybe I got to like maybe 50% the next day, but then it's done slowing down a lot and becomes a lot more. Like the last like 30% on the first difficulty took me quite a while to complete. As you can see, you can tell by the uh, the orange fire, we've passed our previous record. And as the boss loses more and, more and more health, each bar, they will lose more health. Uh, they'll gain more health and start doing more damage. Also, there is a timer as well. So as you can see, even though my units didn't die there, there was a timer. Um, that's fine. We didn't make it to 60%, unfortunately. So I don't think we really gained anything there, unless I was already at 40%, but oh well, that's fine. You get kind of how that works. That's a pretty fun game mode. Um, there are also multiple different bosses as well. As you can see here, there's five in total. So you have um, Necro, Necro Dragon, Necro, Necro Dragon, uh, Snow Stomper, Sky Clops, and King Cloaker, Croker. My god, I cannot pronounce words or English at all today. Um, these information buttons I think are supposed to do something. They're not currently, keep in mind this is still public test realm of the game. In addition to that, there's also ranking, so you can see yourself on the leaderboard. You can also, I believe, oh, that's cool. That person got one place profile. I need to change up a profile picture. Yeah, you can see the different rankings for the different bosses when they are up. Um, in addition to that, you can also see the guild names. I just realized the guild, random guild name I've joined. I don't like that. <laughs> okay. Um, 
in addition to that, there's also like the store thing I mentioned before, but the big thing is going to be ranking rewards too. Every single reset of the day, you'll get different various amounts of currency for different things. And even at the higher levels, you start getting some cosmetics as well. And some of these cosmetics look pretty damn cool. And these are just for your general kind of character, your actual main character kind of thing. Anyways, guys, that is the Dream Realm as a game mode. It's very fun, very good game. And I'd strongly recommend checking out this uh, AFK journey. I've been having a blast playing it and we've been playing this more when the game eventually comes live. See you guys another time very soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more AFK journey. Bye, guys.